I think I learned a lot from this experience. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to claim that I think it's a collective work. Mm -hmm. Colombia helped us in building the city. At the end of the day, the spirit and the soul of this place is the people who are occupying the space. Welcome to Connecting Minds at the Columbia Pavilion. Today, we have the honor and the pleasure of having with us Omar Shahada, Chief Operating Officer of International Participants at Expo 2020. Omar, thank you very much thank for Thank you here. for having me. It's been a pleasure knowing you over the, you know, since Expo Milan 2015 and uh, when we first started to connect with one another. And then uh, seeing you in action, you know, just uh, we were thinking, did you ever think that you were going to build a city like Expo 2020? <laughs> it never crossed my mind. Uh, that I'll be, I'm honored also to be part of the project here. It never crossed my mind to be part of uh, this bigger team who, as you said, built a whole city from scratch. It's a challenge, but you know, in life, we, you know, our destiny takes us somewhere where we don't expect. And I, I've been privileged to be part of this. The moment of truth came in two days before the opening when I had the first time going in the sky in the garden and seeing everything ready. Mm -hmm. That was a very emotional moment for me because you know, we've been hustling, we've been trying to work out hard. You guys are also putting a lot of effort, trying to be ready on time. And then when you go in a moment and you look at all the pavilion, you know, this is a moment like, wow, uh -huh. how big this is. <laughs> now, for, for some of the, or many of the people who will see uh, these, these, how big is this? You know, to, you know to give us some crazy numbers. I think the dimension of how big it is, we, we have 192 countries here. Okay. And then you can imagine 192 dialogue yes. that you are having individually and making sure that we are all, you, you find it like the moment when it's all coming together as in one focus point, but it is surely a, a gigantic, mm -hmm. gigantic in all forms. So that was the high point. Were there any low points? I mean, really uh, anxiety building points or let's go, you know, let's even go back to to the panic attack in, uh, in, uh, in 2020? So I wouldn't say panic, but there was a moment of truth where you needed to pause, think and plan. It took us a while to understand it. And the fact is, how can we keep going on mm -hmm. and making sure that everybody's safe? Right. So this was thrown in our face as a challenge. I hope we did a good job because we, we managed to keep the momentum going. Mm -hmm. The leadership in the UAE kept us going. Mm -hmm. Basically, they jumped on the issue from the beginning, so we were very highly informed about the situation. Yes. When you know something, you know how to deal with it. And I think we got a lot of the tools that we need to do uh, that can help us to keep on going. We never had the moment of like, shall we shut down? What do you think? Um, because the data over communicating to your partners, especially when we had almost 40,000 uh, workers on site, making sure that very well informed, they know what's going on, so there is no panic. Now. You put, you've, you've invested, what, 10 years of your life into these projects? 20% of my life, so you can do the math, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what's the next chapter for, of what's going to happen here and the next chapter for my friend Omar? As you know, from day one when we started, we had a big team only dedicated to legacy. So when we were building, we always had the legacy in mind. So we were not trying to repurpose it just the last minute. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be transformed to a new city. Mm -hmm. The new downtown, if I want to call it, in Dubai. I see myself, even myself, living here. Because I oh, think um, the fact of the urban planning at the early stage integrated in your master plan on a big scale, having um, outdoor, indoor spaces, uh, walkable distance, the use of uh, bicycles, um, electrical mobility, let's say. But the fact walking at night is, mm -hmm. is really beautiful. It's fantastic. Uh, the expo will be always uh, Remembered, remembered in this area. Mm -hmm. But what's the next chapter in my life? I have no idea. Well, have I, I just need to close this one first <laughs> so I can think because you guys are not letting me pose and think. You also have to go and visit the, your, the, the 192 countries that you've interacted with over the last uh, yes. over the last year. In the last 15 days, I'm going to take my team because I think they did, you know, I couldn't do it alone. I have a large team behind me mm -hmm. uh, that I want them to go and enjoy it. And therefore, you know, Colombia must be a, Absolutely. a destination. Absolutely. Because we, you know we that you're always a destination somewhere. <laughs> well, Omar, you know, you've been so honest with what you've said, with the, you know, the legacy of, of all of these. I only have words of appreciation and admiration for what you've done. Uh, we can only say, like you say, that this has been uh, the greatest show on earth. 
and uh, you played a key role into it. Thank you very much. And, and you guys were fantastic. You know, I think everybody who's coming to the Columbia Pavilion enjoying it. Uh, from the art to all the way how you told the story of Colombia. So, you know, thank you and thank your team as well. Thank you very much, Omar. Thanks a lot for having been at the Columbia Pavilion Connected Nights.